Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the twin cluster stitch. Now uh, this is a fairly pretty stitch to work and it's made up of these clusters here uh, that are set alongside one another and uh, it's a very pretty fabric, lightweight, very flexible and uh, just has a great design to it. So we're going to learn how to crochet the twin cluster stitch while you're here. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I like to update it weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. You can grab your favorite yarn and a hook and we will learn how to crochet the twin cluster stitch together. So for our twin cluster stitch here today, what we are going to do is we're going to start by making our foundation chain. Now this the swatch today will be worked in rows, but you can work it in rounds or however you wish. For the stitch, we are going to start by crocheting a multiple of three stitches. So we are going to start with a multiple uh, with a chain of 18. There's nine. And 18. Next, you are going to single crochet in the second chain from your hook and in every stitch to the end. So counting in from your hook, one, two, work that first single crochet stitch, and then a single crochet in each stitch all the way to the end of your foundation chain. For row two, you are going to chain four and turn your work. Now skipping that first stitch that your chain four is coming out of, you're going to yarn over and insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. We're now going to start working our cluster stitches. Then going to yarn over and draw through the first two loops on your hook. And you're going to do that for a total of three times, all in the same stitch. So that was the first. Then we're going to yarn over, insert our hook in the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops. You'll be left with three loops on your hook. You're going to do that again, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops. You'll have four loops on your hook and that's the first leg of your cluster stitch completed. You're then going to skip the next stitch and then working in the next stitch you're going to yarn over again Insert your hook in that same stitch in that next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and work pull through two loops. You're going to do that a total of three times, so two times more. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops. One more time, yarn over, insert your hook in that same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop yarn over and draw through two loops. You'll then have seven loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and draw through all seven of those loops. That's your first twin cluster. You're then going to chain two. In the next stick, stitch you're going to start your next twin cluster. Yarn over and in that next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops. Do that two more times. And once you have four loops on your hook, you're going to skip the next stitch and you're going to repeat that in the next three times. So yarn over, insert your hook in that next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops, do that a total of three times. Once 
Once you have a total of seven loops on your hook, you will yarn over and pull through all seven and chain two. You're going to repeat that all the way across to the end of your row. So begin working your next twinned cluster in the next stitch. Once you have seven loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all seven, chain two, and continue to the end of your row. In your row, once you have come to the end, you will have one stitch one single crochet left over. Once you have worked your final twinned cluster, you're going to finish off by chaining one and then working a final double crochet stitch into that final single crochet. And that brings you to the end of your row two. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. You'll now work a row of single crochet stitches in each stitch and chain space. So working in that first double crochet stitch, work a single crochet. In the next chain space, work a single crochet stitch. Single crochet in the top of your twin cluster. And then work two single crochet stitches in your chain two space. You'll continue that all the way across, single crochet in the top of your cluster and two single crochet in the chain two space. Single crochet in the top of your cluster and two single crochet in the next chain two space. Continue to work that all the way across. Until you come to your beginning chain four you're going to work one single crochet into what would be the chain space and then work a single crochet in the third chain of that chain four. And that brings you to the end of your row three. You're then ready to start uh, repeating that twin cluster row. So start by a chain four, turn your work, and you can start working your twin clusters beginning with your yarning over and you're working in the next stitch. And that's all there is to this pattern of twinned clusters. You'll have that twin cluster row followed by your row of single crochet for as long as you would like your fabric to be. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to work the twinned cluster stitch. Be sure to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.